what's going on guys welcome back to my channel I'm very pissed off right now because I actually did an episode and I, I don't pay attention I have all my software and everything running on this side and none of it was recorded like I press record on everything and I don't fucking understand why it didn't record but I'll do a little run through of what I did um, I went upstairs or I went outside to go fishing you know what, let's just go up there. It was actually a very good a episode because, I mean, <laughs> I'll show you when we get there. Oh my god, I cannot believe this did not record. Like, I literally just got done recording, went to go edit it, can't find any of the video. Like, it's non-existent on my Elgato software, my folders, like, it's gone. Like, I don't understand. Well, as you can tell, we had a little run-in with some fucking creepers. And this is probably going to let some... Okay. So, we had a little run-in with some creepers. We did a little bit of fishing. And uh, we fought some spiders, some zombies. And like I said, I just... I don't understand why it didn't record. Like, I'm looking right now and it's it's recording. Just like the last time. But it is... It, I, I couldn't tell you guys. I'm really mad. Um, the, the reason why I'm so mad is I don't want you to think that I'm cheating. and Because I'm doing all this legit. And I, I just don't want you guys to think that I'm cheating. And it, it just it's very frustrating trying to prove to you guys that I'm doing all this at like once. And it's... I don't know. I'm just so angry right now. Oh, fuck you, Spider-Man. I fought your brother last time. Fuck you. Ugh. So we're trying this again. Ever since Elgato had their software update, shit has not been working, and it's it's kind of frustrating. Like, I don't want to blame Elgato because I've never had any problems with them up until now. Like, ever since their last most recent update, a lot of recordings that I've recorded are not there, and it doesn't say, like, hey, Snake, you fucker. Like, I'm not going to work. Like, you just, you think it's going to work? It, there's no messages saying that it, it's not. And up until that point, like, you, you just think it's recording and it, you just get a big fat nothing. And it's just really frustrating. But anyways, we're not going to let that hold us down. We're going to get shit popping once again. And I'm just going to keep, if you guys see me look over, it's because I'm, I'm trying to see if shit is working or not so let's try this we're trying to make stairs I hope a fucking creeper doesn't fall right on my asshole and blow me <laughs> sounded wrong but that's how mad I am I can't even speak words just cuss words I guess so we made stairs that's that's good stairs we can do okay so there's nothing down here huge creeper explosion no bueno. Let's... Can I, okay, we can squeeze it through there. And, um... Basically, in the last episode, we were hunting for diamonds, and I was like, Hey, guys, I'm gonna keep diamond hunting until my pick breaks. But then I thought about it. I was like, no, I should probably make an uh, anvil and just keep repairing this. But that takes levels. That takes diamonds. And I think this is probably a little on beyond repair, so... We're probably going to have to make another pickaxe. What? Do I not have diamonds on me? Okay, so apparently we don't have diamonds. And I'm just going to start using some iron. Okay, where's the iron? I don't even have iron. What the fuck is going on? I know I have iron in here, so let's put that in there. Put this in here. Words cannot explain how mad I am, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to take it out on you. Oh, and we found some gold as well, so... Yeah, but other than that, I was just rambling on about life and uh, boring stuff, but... Um, let's get back into it. So last... Well, I don't want to say last episode, because it was this episode. Um, it just didn't record, so... Um, I basically just talked about how growing up sucks. And the reason why I say that is because I think I got a couple years under my belt to talk about how much life kind of does suck once you grow up. And um, we're just going to do a little bit more mining, guys. 
It might be a little boring, but hopefully I can keep you entertained with my lips flapping. And let's check to see if we're recording. We are. Sweet. So, um, life in general, it's it, it gets kind of boring, and I wanted to re-talk about when I was young, my biggest fear of growing up was graduating and not knowing my left from my right. Because as most of you may or may not know, um, when you graduate, you got to... I think you have it... There's a tassel on top of your hat. And you have it on the right side before you graduate. And after you graduate, you, you put it on your left. And then, I don't know what the point is that is. But after you graduate, you throw it up. So, my biggest fear was graduating and not knowing my left from my my right and I would always tell my mom like that's why I didn't want to go to school cuz I didn't want I didn't want to be made fun of cuz I didn't know my left from my right and she she would just tell me oh you'll learn you're still young and you guys might call me retarded but <laughs> I didn't know how to tie my shoes until I was in like second grade and I just it, I couldn't function I couldn't I, I don't know why the bunny ears trick did not work for me but it was so frustrating not knowing how to tie your shoes as a second grader I don't know if that's bad or not but my sister could tie them before she went to kindergarten so fuck me right she was always the smarter one but that's also what I want to talk about like today like that's probably why I'm not in college because I never liked school and that's I guess that's just me but I'm not in college. I never wanted to go to college. I never planned on it. Of course, I've always wanted a dream job. Like, my dream job was to be an architect. And funny story is I'm not very good at math. And, okay, I hear running water. So we need to go back and make some torches. So I don't know much about math. Like, I am a hands-on guy. Like, I gotta do it in order to to know how to do it, if that makes sense. And, okay, we have no wood. Okay, let's put this. We don't need cobblestone. Get the fuck out of here. Um, but I'm not very good at math. Let's just put it that way. And you gotta be very good at math to be an architect, but the thing was... I was good at geometry, and that's the kind of math I would need to know in order to be an architect. And for some reason, like, I got geometry because, like, you could actually see how to do that math, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain. Like, I probably wouldn't know how to do it today because I haven't done it since, like, sophomore year. So I'm pretty far out of high school, guys. But, um,. I could probably be an architect if I wanted to, but fuck going to school for however many years, right? You know what I mean? I mean, I just wanted to drop out and become a world-class rapper. I'm just kidding, guys. But, um, really, school just wasn't my thing, and my mom always supported me about that. Like, that's why I loved her is because, like, most parents are like, oh, you need to go to school, you need to do... God damn it. You need to do better than what I did as what I am now. As far as being an adult, I guess. Like, they want better for you. And the thing was, like, I, I just didn't like going to school. That was my sister's thing. Um, but all in all, I guess I turned out okay. I, I don't want anything to fall on me. I think I turned out okay. Like, I see a lot of people that I know that I thought would do very well because they went to college and or they were good in high school. But I see those people now and... They're not doing much better than me, if if at all better than me. And it's just kind of crazy because um, I see a lot of people where I'm like, man, they were such they were so good at sports. And it's, it's just crazy because I guess they got into drugs like after or like the last year of high school. And I didn't know that because I switched schools. And it's just sad to see like somebody you thought would do so good in the in their future is just they got strung up on drugs or or whatever and it's just sad to see like people you know that happen to because i see people all the time and i'm just shaking my head because that was their choice and you see somebody you actually know that chose to do that with their body or choose that way of life and 
it, it's just weird knowing that person. But anyways, my mom always supported me as far as like life choices and stuff like that. She was really laid back and I was kind of a mama's boy um, up until, I don't know, I'll probably have to say nine and I just, because you grow up, kids grow up, and they're like, oh, I'm independent and whatnot. But uh, she always supported me, and as far as me not going, wanting to go to school, she just she just told me, I know you don't like school. I know you probably won't go to college, but just do the best you can do at whatever you choose to do. If you want to be a janitor, go be the best janitor you can be. And, um, I mean, I think I, I do an okay job, well, a good job doing being the best at what I can be when I want to do it. But um, I've said this in videos before. It just brings up the past. But anyways, speaking of the past, um, I wish this fucking, the first video would have recorded. But it, it just angers me, guys. Sorry, I'm still, I'm still kind of salty, as you would say. I hear, I hear lava this way. Let's go this way. Like lava's bad, but I hear it, so I wanna, I wanna find it. Okay, it just disappeared. The sound dis. Where? Where is that coming from? I come over here, I can't hear it. I hear it over here. It has to be above me. It's this way. Oh, there it is. I knew I could hear... Oh, fuck! I knew I could hear lava. I just didn't know where. Should we... Should we ride the magical rainbow down there? I don't know. I, I don't feel like there would be a lot for us to get down there. I mean, all I could see is iron. So, fuck that. Yeah, fuck this. We're blocking this back in. The reason why I wanted to look for that uh, uh, the lava is because... If you generally in Minecraft, if you if you're close to lava, then that means diamonds are close. So, I mean, it's not always, but most of the time, you can find uh, lava next to diamonds or diamonds next to lava, because they're like, oh, here's a reward, but you might die getting to it. Fuck you. That's how that's how Mojang thinks, apparently. But okay, so E3. I guess I could have talked about this in my quote-unquote last video that didn't get recorded but e3 is going on right now and I just seen the uh, multiplayer trailer for Star Wars Battlefront 3 and oh my god guys like I got so soaked fucking watching that thing like literally my panties were just dripping wet with whatever girls ooze out of them cuz I'm a virgin <laughs> But my daughter would say otherwise. But anyways, not not like in a weird way, but I'm just saying I'm a virgin, but I have a daughter. So don't get weird on me, guys. But if you guys have not seen the Battlefront 3 live multiplayer trailer, go watch it. Because that shit looks tight. Like, if you're a Call of Duty fan, you're going to be a Battlefront fan. Because that shit's dope. Like, there's boost jumping and all that, but it's fucking Star Wars. So... If you don't like Star Wars, just, I mean, you need help. I need to hug you right now, because that's just weird. Um, Star Wars Battlefront 3, totally getting it. Totes my goats. But, um, yeah, I just, oh my god, I cannot wait for that game to come out. And I have not seen anything on No Man's Sky. Um, if you guys don't know what No Man's Sky is, that is a, a huge open world game, or open universe, I should say, because... <clears throat> I was reading up on it in um, some magazine, some gamers magazine from GameStop. I forget what it's called. Um, but anyways, they said it could take up to 
a hundred hours just to get to the middle of the map just straight flying like depending on where you spawn in that universe it could take you a hundred hours if you're out on the outer rim it could take you a hundred hours to get just to the middle so I mean that's huge guys that's like just flying straight no stops no nothing that's what they say I mean saying it and actually doing it is two different things but um, I mean we're not getting any luck with diamonds this is bullshit but I mean if you really think about that just think of how big that world must be what the fuck that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in Minecraft but if you think about that of how big that actually is that's huge that's what she said but it's just like my mind can't comprehend oh fuck me well we're not going this way anymore oh, let's put that there but it, it's just it blows my mind on how big that world could be and I think me and Eldog are most likely gonna do a series on that game when it comes out it's gonna be the the search for Eldog or on his channel the, the search for Snick because being that big of an open world is ridiculous and um, you could you can even be stuck on the planet that you spawn on because you can actually spawn on a planet where there's no spaceships no spaceship parts there's no portals to get around so like if you spawn on an island and there's none of that you're basically fucked so I mean that would suck big big balls like I don't know how else to say that, but just think of buying a game and you can't do anything other than explore the world that you spawned on. And I know that I I don't want to say like that would be boring because I mean we spawn into a Minecraft world and we we can go hours and hours and months and days and like being on that one world. But I mean I don't know if it's going to be that high tech as far as um like as far as surviving on a world but I think it's mostly about um I don't know what you would call it probably adventuring like finding like if you go to let's say if you do spawn a, on a world you can name that world whatever you want supposedly so I'm gonna go around and name as many worlds as I can if I can get off the world I spawn on my picks about to break in three two one yep so, I mean, that it just fucking blows my mind of how big this world can actually be. But that's, those are the two games I'm like l just dead psyched about. Another game that I'm psyched about is probably um, Rainbow Six Siege. And that game just looks balls deep as well. Like, I, I don't know how else to say that, but that game looks dope. Like, you can, it's basically you go in and try and free hostages and... Um, I mean, there's just so many games coming out. I'm just so excited, guys. Um, I know we've talked a lot about it in my Bro Talk, but if you're new to my channel, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. What is Bro Talk? Because we have not had that series in forever just because I'm bad at scheduling or other people's schedules don't meet up or friends just hate me at the time. And it's just hard, but okay. Top three games I'm excited about. Would probably be in this order. Oh my god, it's going to be so hard. Probably Battlefront 3. No, let's do top 5. So, Battlefront 3. No Man's Sky. The Division. And... Rainbow Six Siege. And I think that's it. That's only 4, so I can't even count. So, top 4. <laughs> Battlefront, No Man's Sky, Division, and then Rainbow Six Siege. That just looks... Um, if you guys have not seen any of those, go look them up right now. They look dope as hell. And, of course, Black Ops 3 is right around the corner, so I'm not even going to say that. So I'm not even too psyched about it because... I mean, it's just another Call of Duty. But I don't want to be that, that guy, but... I mean, I'm a little bit excited about it because I love Treyarch, and Treyarch's never steered me wrong. So, I'm excited, but I'm not because, okay, I hear, I hear skeletons. But, what games are you guys excited about? Yeah. I, um, other than that, I just, 
I didn't really come into, well, I had topics to talk about, but once again, I mean, I don't want to be that guy because I'm salty, but my capture card just cut out on me. Like it says, like before it said, I almost went 30 minutes for that episode too, guys, so I don't know what the fuck happened, um, but I'm at 21 minutes, and let's see if this fucking works. If not, I just, I guess I'm cutting the series, guys. I'm just kidding. I want to do that to you. But it would be kind of hard to keep up with the series with a faulty Elgato. And um, so I'm going to sign it out here make sure everything's working. I didn't want to get too far just in case it didn't. But I got my little fish in my hand. If you guys are enjoying the series, please be sure to drop a like, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you didn't like it, go ahead and watch it a second time. Maybe it will change your mind. And if you do... I'll kiss your mom on the lips. So this is your boy Snickerford signing out. Peace, guys.